Welcome to the brief description of the next project you're going to do. In the previous assignment, we created Max at Night, this entirely in Photoshop, and what we did is we actually recreated a real book cover. So we, t we had this, and we came up with something like this. So in the previous lesson, you created that. Well, now we want to take it a step further. On your own, using the skills that I showed you to create this, you're actually going to create these book covers. So here on the class page, you can see type tool, pencil tool, book pages. We've already created the book cover for Max at night. Now we're going to create the pages again using the skills you've learned. Gradient tool, pencil tool, paintbrush, or the um, all the previous tools that you've you've learned how to use. You're going to harness here to recreate this. So you can see I give you three pages from Max at night. You can click on them. You can see Max is very sleepy. If you wanted to, if you right click, open in new. I'm going to do that. Open in new to see the full size of the page. So this is one page, or actually it's two, that you're going to recreate. Here's another that you're going to recreate. And here's another that you're going to recreate. So I'm going to help you set this up, and then you're going to use the skills to create these. Now for the backgrounds, they're not going to just be solid color backgrounds. I want you to use the gradient tool. They can be the same color, so it could be pink, but I want you to use one of the gradients. I'll show you that in a few. So let's go ahead and do this one, right? So set this up. It's also on the class page here. Everything is always on the class page. Make sure you use it. So you can see create the document, file new, these are going to be as specs. Book pages, max at night, 17 inches, 11 inches. It's going to be transparent. So we'll come here, file new. We'll call it book pages, max at night. This is going to be double that because it's two pages. That's the book cover. And let's make this 72 because otherwise it's going to be a really, really big size. 300 pixels per inch is really print quality. Um, we're not actually printing this, so I'm making it 72, which is normally web quality. And you can see the difference here. If I do print quality, right now the file size is 2.77 megabytes with 72 inches. If I make it 300, it takes it to 48. So you can see it's almost 20 times bigger, just depending on the resolution, which is also in the, in the industry certification. You have to make sure you, you pay attention to resolution. If you're going to be a graphic designer you're always, and you're doing something for print, it's going to be 300 pixels per inch. Computers are measured in pixels, but most times you're going to use 72 if you're using it, making images for the web, those type of things. So go ahead and click OK. So you can see we have our area. We also have our ruler from the previous. And remember, you get to rulers from view rulers, so if I wanted to hide it, I could go there, but I'm going to go turn it back on. Now to set this up, I simply want a line that delineates kind of my fold. To do that, I can drag, remember you mouse over the ruler area, and you drag like this. Once you get to the center point, it'll kind of snap like that, and it's exactly at 8.5. Remember our thing was 17, so half is actually 8.5. It also does it this way as well. So if I drag down slowly, once I get towards the center, you'll see it'll snap in place. So that's a good way if you wanted to split your pages or just for design features. But I don't need this one. I do need that one. So I want to set up the background for page one. So you can see it's blue and orange. And then you can use a pencil tool to kind of draw that out. And you can use the type tool to kind of drag this out, right? So let's do the left side. I'm going to use my marquee tool to select only the left side. I'm going to call this background. Remember, I always want you to rename your layers correctly. And go ahead. That was kind of a blue, right? So it's kind of like this blue. I'll do that. And for my background color, I want to Do a little bit darker, maybe like that. So 
So for the backgrounds, even though it's solid blue or solid orange, I want you in the project to practice the skills you're using your gradient tool. So I'm going to come back in the Photoshop. You can see the paint bucket. If I simply did this, that looks like the page. We want to take it a step further and use the gradient tool. And remember the gradient tool here? You have a bunch of different options. I can do linear gradient or radial gradient or angular gradient or reflective gradient or diamond gradient. Let's just say if I wanted to do linear. Remember you click and drag out. So that's kind of I want a little bit more variation, so I'll make it a little bit darker. And I could go like that. Or like that. So I want you to create a gradient versus having a solid. Do the other side. Do my oranges right. I think it was orange. Right? Wasn't the other side? It's like a really deep orange. Let's go from really light to like that really good orange. That. And I'm going to do this one with a, a radial gradient. So like that. So on the left side I have a, a linear gradient. On the right side I have a radial gradient. And then I can go ahead and create. This is max. It was past my max's bedtime. I'll do this to the left side. So I'm going to use my type tool, text. Simply click. This is max. It is pass max's bedtime. Remember, I can select all of it and scale it down using this. Now, I'm giving you some freedom here. This is very plain text. It's just text. I'm giving you the creativity. I want you to not only use text. So if I wanted to use that, that looks very similar. I want you to add a layer effect. So you can see stroke. If I wanted to, I could make I can add the stroke there. I can also add a drop shadow. So I want you to play with the layer effects in this project as well. So it's not going to look exactly like this. You're using this as a template. You're enhancing it. So I have this as Max's bedtime. I did my stroke there. Even though it's black on the screen, I could want to make the text Fuchsia, why not? And then I can come back and change my that to, to be black. Or green. Or blue. Or whatever. I kind of like that blue. So I have, this is Max's bedtime. I could scale it down. <laughs> and then I need to make my cat. <coughs> and you can draw your cat here. To draw the cat, you're going to use your pencil tool. You're going to use black. You can kind of guesstimate it. You can use the elliptical tool to make your circle. Let's do a really quick cat. So I'm going to make Max a lot bigger than he was in the thing. So make it like that. Fill Max in. Go ahead and use my pencil tool. Max comes straight down like that. And he goes straight across to the side. And he kind of has like a. Let's make our pencil bigger. So that's his tail. And I can fill in his body like that. Same thing. Make his eyes. Let's see how his eyes look. This one is smaller than that one. So, got this. Get my yellow. Of 
going to fill it in with the paint bucket. His other eye is a lot bigger. Like that. Max has really weird eyes. Paint bucket. Use my same marquee tool. The bigger the so they're a little bit equal. Do that. Fill it in. Do that. A little bit bigger. Fill it in. Then use my brush tool. Paint to draw his ears. Just like we did before, we could add other details. So let's say that was one paw. That was another paw. And that's kind of his body in the background. Let's say that's his third paw. And you can't see one of those. We could add some effects. We, all we have to do is nose. I made my nose is pink. Max's nose is blue for whatever reason. So I'm going to make mine's pink again. So I can kind of color that in. And I made in my previous one, I made Max have a nice smile. And if I really wanted to, I could add some toes here, making this smaller, like that, and a line like that, a line like that, and a line like that. This would be his foot as well. So you can see really quickly I drew Max. So that's page one. So if you're looking at this, this is page one, this is page two. So we're going to do all these pages. So you have page three, page four, which is a little bit more difficult. you got to draw this toothbrush and stuff, right? Then I have page five and page six, got to draw a fish tank. So it gets a little bit harder. So let's set up everything. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call this page one and two. I'm going to put all this inside of that folder so you can see it's inside of here. So this is cat where I drew my max for that. This is the text for page one. And then I need to draw my stuff over here for page two. But I can put folders inside of folders. So if I wanted to, I could do here, page one, and make a cat only. And so if you wanted to get very organized, I can only separate my stuff into my page one. I'm just showing you you can for this project. I don't think it's necessary. So I have page one and page two. And I can turn that off. Obviously, you're going to need to make page three and four folder. And inside that folder, you need to have a background. And then you obviously put your text and stuff for that. You want to make one other folder, page five and six, and inside of there, you're going to have to have the background. So this is setting up your project. You can see I kind of did half of the project, page one. These I can turn off for now. I can turn this back on. This background layer is pretty much done. So I'm going to lock it. That way I can't mess with it. This is max. When you're done with it, I can lock it. The cat layer I can't lock because you have to draw the cat over here. You also have to finish that out. So this has been the introduction of how to set this project up. On your own, over the next two class periods, you're going to complete this by enhancing this. Max is very sleepy. Then you're going to do page three and four. Glug, glug. Max has drunk his milk. Mac has brushed his teeth. Brush, brush. Max is clean behind his ears. It's going to get harder to draw these, but you're going to get practice using the pencil tool. Same thing. Last two pages you're going to make. Now Max is going to say good night. Good night, fish, says Max. Good night, boy, says Max. You're going to draw the box. Again, you get a lot of practice with how to draw using the pencil tool. Good night, spider, says Max. Good night, moon, says Max. 
but the moon is nowhere to be seen and you can see max error. So you're going to get a lot of practice using the pencil tool, also the type tool. Look how much type is here. But you're going to do all of that in this one document here into the right folder. So this is page one and two. You have that background, you have the text. If you look at page three and four, you're going to have the background, the text, the cat. You're going to look at page six, five and six, you're going to have the background, the page, and the cat. So in each one of these, you're going to have a background cat and some text that you're going to do. This has been the video on how to set up the project that goes along with this lesson here. Again, you're going to recreate all three of these provided images. This is the video right here that you're watching. Here's your rubric. This is what I'm grading you on. So make sure you check the rubric before you turn it in. You can see everything here will get you, if you have everything here when you turn it in, you'll be fine. Make sure you have your portfolio page. Remember, every assignment is a portfolio grade and also a Photoshop grade. Then at the very bottom, simply turn in your portfolio. Your portfolio page, if I click on it, should look like this. You're adding to the previous um, portfolio page you created. So you created a page, Max at Night, and it only had this. Now you're adding in your pages part. You're also going to add in the tools that you needed for this. And you can see down here, previously you had this and that. Now you actually have the page and this. Mr. Gant? Yes. Hey, how are you?